Hello everybody and happy Sunday. I'm so glad you're back here again. It's Jill Lancet. I hope you've had a great weekend. Um, now, I hope I don't speak too, too, too fast because I have a tendency to do that when I'm a bit excited. So I wanted to show you the um, the cards that we're going to be making today, but we're making it slightly different. But aren't they amazing? Now, look at the positioning of that. It's perfect. And the same with this. It's perfect. I am going to show you the little tool that is free that you can request from Tatiana Creative. Now, I will put the link down below, but this is a template that is absolutely brilliant. If you like to make wreaths, um, you know, things that go in around a circle, this one is for an offset wreath. Now, offset just means that it's cut off and it's offset to one side. Now these, I just played with these. They didn't take that long to make and I was so impressed. I thought I'm going to give some uh, love to Tatiana and I want you to all rush over to her site and get a download of this template. Now, it might look a bit complicated. It might look a little bit confusing, but I am going to demystify that for you. And indeed, Tatiana does that on her YouTube channel as well. So, um... But this is brilliant. Now, you print it out yourself on an A4. I'm going to take this off. And you cut the corners off. She gives it all, she, she gives it to you, supplies it all. Okay, now I've laminated mine because I want to use it again and again and again. Now, you, you don't have to do that, but yeah, I, I am going to do that. So, where it says offset wreath, that goes up into the corner of your stamping platform. Now, I have um, allowed for the border of the laminating. I don't know whether that's a vital thing, um, but that's what I've done. So, now let's have a look at this. You've got all these funny-looking rectangles, and it just looks a bit confusing, but it couldn't be simpler. What we're going to do is take mat one from whatever country you use, you use uh, the matte templates that are available free from my um, email. Email me here, tilly2145 at gmail.com um, and request the template mates mats. It will give you all the sizes for the mats. This is mat two. We are going to pop that, mat that up onto mat one in black. I will make this card for you completely, including colouring it with some blends, but I want to show you how fantastic this is and how generous Tatiana is in offering this to us all. Do yourself a favour. Yeah. So I'm popping this. It's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you'll see that they've been placed into a corner. Now, it looks a little bit confusing, I must admit, but it is not. So I'm going to pop my card front, which is match two, in the corner that says one. I'm going to pop that in there like that. I will put uh, a magnet on, on here. I don't want that to move, okay? Now, this is a retired Stampin' Up! Stamparatus, but you can use a, a stamping platform that has one fixed hinge on it you will just have to take your stamp off and reposition the second one if you want to i did the first card with just one stamp and that is what i would call a clean and simple card okay so i have uh my piece of card stock in there i've got it in the corner of number one Next to it is number two. I have already done this. I've already positioned this. Um, so I've put it there like that. And I'm just going to stamp this in uh, our Memento Tuxedo Black. Okay. So it's just a case of rep repetition. So I'm stamping that down. Using the stamp positioner. 
this thing is designed to use it with a stamp positioner, okay? So there's my first butterfly, gorgeous. So I'm going to take these magnets off and I'm going to turn this from corner number one around to corner number two, okay? So I'm just going to pop that in there. I'm lining it up with the rectangle that's there and I'm going to ink this butterfly up. Now, I don't know. I don't know how to speed things up. I, I'm pretty useless when it comes to technology. So, um, you know, fast forward it if, if this is like pulling teeth or something to you. But yeah, at least watch it to the end, even if you fast forward little bits, because you'll, you'll really want to see how this turns out. So that was number two. Now I'm turning this to corner number three. Now, if you can count, <laughs> if you can count, you can do this, okay? So I'm just repositioning those magnets. I'm inking up my little butterfly again. And I'm continuing around to corner number four. It really could not be simpler than this. Now, there's a few people out there that have um, got these. Um, but I was so impressed that this was a freebie. Um, and I want to thank Tatiana for, um, you know, giving us the opportunity to use it. I will make another one on another day, on another video. So stay tuned for that because I want to do it with some foliage and make like a proper um, wreath. Now I'm turning this around to number five, okay? So we've done one, two, three, four. You can see that they have actually been stamped almost in a perfect circle, okay? So now we get to this point and I do need a bit of scrap paper. So I'm just gonna fish through my drawer and find some. Hold your horses, honey. Here we go, I've got a little piece here. Um, now I wanna put this just to protect my laminated piece because I don't wanna stamp on it, okay? So I'm gonna ink this up. And it's easy to see if it's actually going to go over. Before you even place it down, you can check and see that it is going to go off the edge. So I'm just going to pop that down there like that. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to turn it around now to corner number six. Now, quite possibly, this won't even fit on corner number six. Oh, yep, there's a little bit of him. So I'm going to get that, line that up. I'm going to pop my little piece of scrap paper under there again. I'm going to ink this up. Stamp it down. Oh, dropped it. <laughs> dropped it. Um, let's see. I'm going to turn it around now to corner number seven. And you want to make sure it's the same corner, the same corner of your cardstock that is going over the number, okay? So it's going over the number. Pop my little piece of car, um, scrap paper there again, ink this up. Now I'm pretty sure you're, I know you're marveling at how wonderful this is, but I'm pretty sure you've got the gist. So I'm gonna go a little bit faster. So that was corner number seven. Corner number eight will actually complete the circle, okay? So, and that's a complete wreath of gorgeous, gorgeous sketched butterflies. Now, that's this one. I decided to do those all in different, the rainbow colors. But this one I wanted to color. I wanted to do a little bit extra today. It's Sunday and, you know, you might be at a loose end and you've got the time. So now I've done that, I'm actually going to uh, turn this around. Now, if I had one that wasn't um, hinged like this, this would be the point where I would take this stamp off and 
I would put the other stamp on and position it. Well, I've already done that. I've already done that. So I'm going to go back to number one. I'm going to start back at number one. I'm lining that up like that. Popping that on there like that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Those magnets just got a little bit too friendly. <laughs> Um, I'm going to turn this around because I have the hinged one, okay? Now, I have lined this up so that it goes between like those two butterflies there. So you will, all will be revealed. Just hold your horses, honey, and, and just have a look at this because I think you're going to be so impressed. I was. I was so impressed. Um, so I'm popping this down here again because the majority of this particular butterfly does hang off. So this is number one in corner number one. Beautiful. Now I'm going to switch this around to corner number two. And because it's laminated, um, it slides around fairly easily. Okay. So this is corner number two. I need my little piece of um, scrap paper again. And I'm stamping this down. It's been a warm day here in beautiful downtown Greystains. Um, you know, we're well and truly into spring. And that is lovely because you will actually see real butterflies now. Um, okay, I'm going to turn that around. Look, I've got a bit of a smudge on there. So, boo me, you know. Um, okay, so corner number three. Now, this magnet could well get in the way. We'll just check. I will need my little piece of scrap paper again. But it is quick. Once you get the hang of this, it is actually quite quick. So corner number four, inking him up. Popping a bit of scrap paper under there. Hopefully he'll cover up that big smudge I just did. Stamping him down. Now obviously you can stop at that at that small butterfly and have it a clean and simple card. But yeah, I wanted it a bit more complicated. So that was um, corner number four. I'm turning it around to corner number five. And oops. Just want to make sure that is in place. Pop this little piece of scrap paper under there. And I'm stamping that down. Now, you won't see the next corner. So that it would be corner number six. So if I place that over, you'll see he's way off the page. That's corner number six. Corner number seven, I do believe, is going to be the same. Yep. And corner number eight, you might get a little corner of his wing. Now, it just depends where you place it on your... Yep, you're going to get just a little corner. So I'll pop that there. And we're nearly done with all the stamping, guys. So, yeah, gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Now, I've just created a whole uh, background. Now, I'm just going to clean this. And we're going to do some quick uh, colouring. So I'm just going to pop that over there out of the way. Now, I've just picked some colours. Now, I've got... A retired colour here which is the Tahitian Tide but I liked it with the um, blueberry bushel so yeah that's my excuse okay but you can pick whatever colour combination you want now I'm going to do very quickly I'm going to do um, all of the butterflies on the inside with the same colour this is very quick colouring let me just tell you um, so I'm going to start with this one and this is the dark um, what is it? Dark Berry Burst. So I'm just colouring in the middle here, middle of his wing. 
Uh, I'm going to do a couple at a time because it is quite quick uh, once you get going. Oops, went over. Never mind. Um, so you pick whatever colour combination you like. And just colouring those inner parts of his wings. Now, as if this wasn't impressive enough, this stamping this in a wreath, I'm going to show you how quickly and how easily I can make these butterflies look like they really are. 3D. Right. Now I'm taking the Light Melon Mumbo. Now this is the combination that I've chosen. Dark Berry Burst, Light Melon Mumbo. Okay. So I'm just going to colour from the outside of his wing now. And I'm just going into that Melon Mumbo, uh, into the Berry Burst. So it looks like the, his wings are darker in the middle. It looks like they're actually like that. Easy peasy. You can be a brilliant artist who understands depth and shading in five minutes. Okay. So this is how hard it is, guys. These are alcohol markers. And once it comes into contact with the other colour... It kind of blends them. And that is why they've called them blends. Now, look, I, I'm i telling you, if if you want to fast forward this, you know, now would be the time. But I want you to come back and check out the other colour combination because it is just as really, really spectacular. And remember, this doesn't have to be perfect. This is a handmade card. Hopefully, it's going to somebody that um, you like and they like you. So any mistakes, instantly going to be forgiven because you've spent all this time on this gorgeous card for them. And I think we get a little bit too hung up on being perfect. And life's not perfect. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you've already figured that out. Sorry about the noise, but that is the nature of these alcohol markers. Um, they do squeak a lot. Um, yeah. I hope that doesn't bother you. You can always put me on closed captions. Okay, so this isn't really taking all that long. This is very quick colouring. Um, it's very effective. And look, if you like colouring, this is not going to be a chore for you. I like colouring. I find it really relaxing. Um, so, yeah. It's not a chore for me. And just the last couple of little bits of... Butterfly wings. And his body. I forgot his body. That's okay. I'll do that in a minute. So I hope your weekend has been really, really lovely. Um, I hope you've done some things that you wanted to do, um, not that you had to do. I hope you fitted in some card making or crafting. Um, we need to have a balance in life. And sometimes we just forget about that, don't we? So hopefully this is part of your... Um, Recreation, not your duties. That is as simple as that is. Those butterflies have now got um, shape. They're not just flat. They're, they're, they've got the illusion that maybe their wings are 
coming out like that. Now the next colour combination is the Tahitian Tide and the Light Blueberry Bushel. Um, now you just saw me put the dark in first. It doesn't matter which way you do that, okay? It really doesn't matter. I, I like to do it that way because then I can go over the whole thing with the light. So I'm going to stick with that, okay? I'm going to do the dark in the middle of his wings and look I'm not even following the pattern on here because you can actually see through it you know you can see the lines and everything through the coloring so yeah if you wanted to spend ages on doing these gorgeous gorgeous butterflies and they are they are beautiful um, yeah that's that's your joy of course go for it but I've only got a certain amount of time to um, yeah show you some of these things so there we go oh missed him missed him he was hiding hiding in the corner dark Tahitian tide I'm not a bright colour person. You might have already picked up on that. <laughs> um, but I'm going to use, it's a bigger area, so I'm actually going to use the brush end, maybe. Let's see, let's see. It does do a bigger area quicker. Not so much squeaking either. But the principle is the same. As soon as I touch that onto that darker colour, it basically melts basically melts the other colour and they blend. They blend together. There's no hard um, line. This makes your colouring look so much more professional. Um, you know? And it's something so simply achieved. Look at that. Gorgeous is that. I love these two colours together. Now, if you haven't got these colours, as I said, choose a colour combination that you really like. I've only chosen a lighter colour and a darker colour, and it works perfectly because the blends sort of create a third colour in the middle where they meet. How gorgeous. I know who's getting this birthday card. Well, I don't think it's a birthday card. I think it was, I'm going to make it a, oh, let's see. We'll see. I don't know what stamp I've got. I didn't get a stamp out, guys. Oh, well, we'll sort it out. Now, here's a little tip that you can do too. You can do these and then just leave them without a sentiment. And then later, you can just add a sentiment on a separate little strip or whatever. Um, um, as, as required. And I might do that, actually. I might do that today. Now, that looks gorgeous. It looks gorgeous. But I want to um, do some other things. I'm going to do a little bit of... Um, black spatter so I need a block I'm just going to take a block I'm going to put some of my memento down okay on the block I'm going to take a paintbrush and just some water and I'm just going to make this into like a bit of a slurry you can see there it's not uh, very dark. Now, where is my spray booth? Black I don't want over everything. Now, look, I've just cut down a box, okay? I've just cut this box down. You saw it the other day. It's My paper towel is so sparkly from the last video. It's a shame to throw it out. Now, I'm, I'm going to just spatter some black on here. And 
for some reason or other, that makes it. So when you've got little bits that you need a little bit more in, just try and concentrate on that area there. Ta-da! How gorgeous is that? Now I'm going to give you a close-up of this. I'm, I'm going to stand up and give you a close-up of that because I think that that is absolutely gorgeous, if I do say so myself. Now, simple. Uh, let's see, how long have I been at this? 25 minutes. 25 minutes, and this card's pretty much finished. So now I'm going to um, actually glue this onto the black mat. As I said, I'm not going to do a sentiment, but what I would do is just take a little strip of um, card stock, put my sentiment on it, and then mount it across here. This one has thanks on it. This is what I'm talking about. Just popping it onto a little piece of cardstock, um, the same as a basic white. I've glued a little, these are scraps. I keep them when I trim them off. Um, glue a piece of black uh, just on the back of it. Pop that up onto dimensionals and you have a fantastic card that really did not take that long. You've actually made it a handmade card. Um, it's hand coloured. You've taken a bit of time. So um, the person will understand that this has, is not A, a store-bought one, and B, you've actually put time and effort, which equals uh, love or caring, and hopefully they will appreciate that. Now I'm going to pop that straight onto the card base. Make sure your card opens the right way, guys. I've done that so many times. Um, and I think we're done here. Um, I was going to make this a thank you card. Um, but yeah, I have somebody in mind to receive this. And, and her birthday is coming up in the next uh, week or so. So yeah, I will do that off camera. Um, and I will put that sentiment on there. Now, I didn't colour in their little bodies. I would suggest you use a light uh, grey. Now, I've got light grey granite here. That might be a bit too light, but we'll have a look. Yep, that just finishes it off. You could go the grey, the dark grey granite. But how simple... And simply gorgeous is this card. Thank you so much, uh, Tatiana. I will pop the link down there. And I, I do recommend that you go and have a look at her, um, her uh, website. <sighs> you know I'm not technical. Um, yeah, go and have a look at her website. I'll put the other two cards there and you can have a look at those as well. I was going to pop thanks just in the centre but I'm not going to do that now. Um, I've got two others that I have made. This one does not have the black spatter on it. Um, this one does but I did it with the other stamp from this set. They are all joined. They're all one stamp. And I just lined that up within the, the grid of the template and stamped them going out. Now, I did those, I coloured those with the blends as well. I did it in rainbow order. This one I stamped with the rainbow inks. And this one, as you just saw, I stamped it in our memento and coloured it with our alcohol markers. I think that's brilliant. Thank you so much, Tatiana, and I will pop the link uh, in the description below. And please, um, if you want any information, if you want the templates for the mats, um, email me here, tilly2145 at gmail.com. Uh, if you'd like to purchase any products, that's my online store, jilllancet.stampinup.net. Um, yep. Yeah. 
Have a great rest of your Sunday. And um, I have my little granddaughter staying overnight. We're having a sleepover. I, I, I will wager there's not a terrible lot of sleep that will be happening. But anyway, <laughs> I'll let you guys all know how that goes. Thank you so much. Take care. Hooray. And have a lovely week. Bye for now.